Today, I'm confirming and busting myths in creative mode. Over the past few weeks, there have been a number of videos and things that have come out that are kind of crazy. We've got giant animals, rain in creative mode, and even a way to make OG graphics. The problem is a lot of comments out there are people saying they can't duplicate this. So I'm here to put it all to the test and see if we can do it as well. And let me tell you guys, we discovered some insane new stuff too. All right, let's bust some myths. Okay, the first myth I want to either confirm or bust is the giant animal myth. I originally saw this on Twitter by JST Kamui, and the original method was originally found by Mar. I also saw Richie Toons post this on his YouTube channel, but a lot of the comments said they can't do it. So I'm here to prove if you can do it or not. All right, so here's supposedly how you're supposed to do the giant animal trick. So first you open the dark tilted prop gallery. You scroll down until you see this icon right there. All right, so I'm gonna place this down and then I'm gonna build some walls just like in a square box like this. I don't necessarily need all these levels there. Okay. And then you're supposed to go get just, I don't know, any terrain piece that sounds Sounds like, uh, let's get some snow here. And it sounds like it doesn't even really matter like how big you make this. So I'm just gonna place this down so that it's like flush with the bottom of my builds and then just center it for like good measure and stuff. Okay, there we go. Now I get out my wildlife spawner and you're supposed to place it like exactly in the center of this box. So I'm just gonna make my grid snap something higher so that I can get it right in the middle. Okay, that looks like right there, it's right in the middle. And then you're supposed to have spawn through walls on and the spawn radius needs to be 2.5 meters. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to make it giant. So just like make the whole device really big. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just gonna place down a little spawn pad to see if this works and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it actually spawns big. Oh, no, it's tiny. It's a little tiny wolf. Mm. Why isn't this working here, huh? Maybe I need to bring up my terrain just a little bit. I'm pretty sure he's centered here. Maybe I need to bring him down. I don't know, let's uh, try again. Okay, let's see. Oh, there it is, it worked! Oh, my terrain was too low. Ah, oh, he's huge! Ah, look out for him, oh my gosh! Oh, he's so scary huge. Okay, that's kind of a crazy glitch, guys. I'm gonna throw on some trick tiles here to make sure this disappears. Just gonna make sure it activates on game start. And I'm gonna change this to a random wildlife type because I wanna see all of the animals here huge and I want to get up to 20 of them and then I'm just gonna make my terrain a little bit bigger so they have some room to run around because they're giant remember okay there we go we got a little bit more terrain for them to run around on uh let's throw up some barriers so they can't like get out let's put in some like cold looking mountains I want to trap my giant animals <laughs> okay there we go let's uh see how this looks like all right I'm really excited to like see this actually wow there's a giant chicken and a giant raptor and a giant boar oh my gosh ah! <laughs> Oh, guys, this is crazy. Giant animals everywhere. Oh my gosh, they're so glitchy though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I have a suspicion this is gonna get patched tomorrow probably with the update because uh, this is just a little bit too crazy. Actually, I hope they don't patch it. I love the giant animals. For the next myth, I saw this really cool video on Yurik's YouTube channel where you can create this awesome rain effect in creative mode. The problem is most of his comments said they couldn't do it, so it's time to put it to the test. Okay, so I'm gonna follow step by step exactly how Yurik has it set up in his video. So first we're gonna get out the Sky Dome device. All right, we'll place that down. Okay, so our light source needs to be sky blue. Sky Dome top needs to be black. The middle color's aqua and the bottom is gray. Also the horizon fog needs to be sky blue. Okay, so there we go. There's how that's set up. And then we're supposed to get out our VFX spawner. Place that down. We're supposed to change the loop spawn rate to fastest. And then we're supposed to shrink the device as small as it can go. And then we can place this wherever we want to get more rain. I don't know. Okay, let's see if that works. Ooh, I'm excited for rain in Fortnite. Let's check this out. I'm seeing nothing, guys. I've got nothing! What am I doing wrong here? I did it exactly the way he had it set up. It looks like he has it set to a button, so I'll do that. I don't know how that's gonna change anything, though. I'm pretty sure he had just set that up so he could show the difference between when it was off versus when it was on. Oh, let's find out. Okay, we're gonna push the button. Uh, it's changed our sky dome, but uh, no rain. Where's my rain? So I messaged a group that I'm a part of where there's a lot of great builders and Tax suggested that it could be an effects problem that I have. So let me go into my settings and look, my effects are actually on medium. That is for a special project that I've been working on. By the way, guys, I'll be testing that on Friday live on stream. So make sure you come back on Friday to check that out, guys. Okay. Okay, so let's change our effects up to epic and let's hit apply and oh my gosh it's already working ah look it's the rain oh it's beautiful i didn't even have to start the game wait 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 wait, wait. actually i want to start the game real quick to see if it can have the like more white effect 
So when I turn on the Sky Dome, this should change from that, like, multi-colored looking rain. Okay, there it is. Uh, I didn't really change the look of the rain at all, but it still looks awesome when you're, like, running through it like this. So the Sky Dome really doesn't have any effect on the, like, how the rain looks. And let's see, if I put, like, multiples of these together, does it, like, increase the rain? I think it does? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's delete some of these. Yeah, it definitely increases the amount of rain if you put down more of them. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see what it looks like if I make this super large. Okay, there we go. Whoa! Holy cow, guys, that's even cooler than when it's small! What the heck? It's like I'm warping through something! You can totally use this for all sorts of stuff! Why did I not know about this? This is insane! Oh, whoa, look! When you, like, angle it, it makes it, like, come out and, like, angle down. What is this? Ah! <laughs> Uh, so what if I make a ton of these together? Uh, now we've got some insane looking waterfalls. Whoa, guys, that is crazy! So now you can have crazy light waterfalls, or you can have nice little rainstorms. I'm gonna place down like a million of these things and just see what it looks like. <laughs> and that's quite awesome, guys! Wait, guys, I wanna put on the like black and white effect. The film noir. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, now it's a rainy day in the depressing world of the banana. Okay, the final myth I wanted to check is a myth that you can change the graphics using the Sky Dome to make it look like OG Fortnite graphics. There's a few different settings you gotta change, and so I'm gonna check this out and just see if this is true. Okay, so similar to how GKAI did it, let's throw down some OG prefabs. Oh, guys, let's do the Hero Mansion. It's nice and big, and it has a lot of the OG stuff in it. Okay, so this is the graphics I currently have set on my account. All right, so now let's do the settings that GKAI set. Once again, we're pulling out the Sky Dome! What a game changing device, guys. Okay, so we're supposed to change our light source color to beige. The light source intensity needs to be 60, and the Sky Dome top color needs to be pink. Alright, next we need to go into our settings and change the time of day to 3 p.m. I don't know how this is supposed to change anything. And the light brightness is supposed to be 100%. Okay, and that's supposed to be OG Fortnite graphics right there. I don't know, it just seems a little dark to me. Maybe if I come to the back here it'll look a little different. I don't know about this one, guys. Let's do a side-by-side. -side. So let's see, we got the house and the tree right here, and then I'm gonna turn it off. I don't know, guys. Does that look that different? I mean, it's just a different shade of color. Does that really look OG to you? I don't know, guys. Uh, I mean, let's look at one of my old videos here. Let's see. I mean, I guess it kind of looks like the OG graphics. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm gonna have to leave that one up to you. If you guys think that looks more OG than, like, uh, I don't know, like a nice bright day or something, then it's up to you. But I'm gonna say this is kind of busted. <laughs> Well, I'm really glad the first two myths were definitely confirmed, and the last myth is probably, like, mildly confirmed. Anyways, guys, is there any other myths out there you want me to bust? Let me know in the comments below!